but what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a pre-order video for this year's tail end of this year and next year's pre-orders um yeah i did a live stream of my pre-orders but as you know that list is probably gonna continue to either grow or do or decrease if i change my mind or not you know so get started here with our first one we're gonna be coming this month like i said i talked about this on the live stream but this is gonna be obviously the kakiguri mary bunny it actually was supposed to come out in october but unfortunately got pushed back to november which was okay for me because I definitely didn't have the money to get it this month so I was, that was fine um take a quick look at the price breakdown for this pricey for sure because these new once a new bunny drops usually always pricey and it's still available for sale so i mean it might drop in price it might go on sale for a little bit because i was kind of surprised I, I was thinking that this was going to be like a instant grab it was going to be sold out but I'm guessing bunnies aren't going to be sold out as much as they used to be anymore. So, so if you guys want to hold out, hold out for maybe like a month or two, maybe I don't know when it's going to go on sale. But anyway, 258 USD, 39 about 39k uh, yen. So, like I said, a little on the pricey side, but hey, I want it to fit my collection for the last piece a little kakiguri collection well i got one more and, uh in december to show you guys as well that'll be the end of, the, of my collection but yeah that's november 2024 so probably gonna come out in november maybe and i don't know thanksgiving is around the corner so i don't know we'll see usually i like to drop on the 25th last week in november so I definitely definitely looking to get this for sure i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it plenty pictures of it. it looks good to me i know some people weren't really too pleased with it but like i said y'all weren't really too pleased with the yumiko one either but i like it i'm definitely getting it instant pre-order no doubt about it and then along with that y'all know i play smt a lot i was playing smt like a motherfucker um on my live streams and you got the naho bino this is uh it's not a pop-up parade but it looks like a pop-up parade just uh where is it right here yep uh, from shin megami tensei 5 form ism nahobino i don't know what form ism means just this is just the usano form of the main character the nahobino and this also comes out in november i'm gonna be getting this along with the bunny and this one is pretty cheap. It's thirty-five dollars. And then, like I said, depending on the shipping you get, determine the total price. But this box is going to probably be pretty small. So if you're only just looking to get this, then you won't break the bank too much. But yeah, this one's pretty cool. I like how his hair looks. Everything's on point. I actually, did a pretty good job. Looks spot on. I mean, obviously, it's hair could be a little better, but like I said, this is like a prize figure, a pop up parade, maybe. Somewhere along those lines. Square Enix made it. I don't know what nine centimeters is. I don't think it's going to be that tall. I think it's gonna probably like one eighth scale. So, like, maybe like a. And this is my die figure here. So, I mean, he's already pretty short, so he's probably not going to be that tall, but somewhere along these lines. That's not focusing. There we go. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, 35 bucks November, so yeah, November's going to be a pretty good month. But other than November Christmas time you know after Thanksgiving Christmas time's around the corner and I can't wait for this one y'all once I saw this I was like oh yeah that puts the other to me this puts the re-release that they made for that other Yumiko to shame because this is 10 times better in my opinion but 
You guys will still get the other one if you want, but this one is the one. Face is cool as hell. Got the cards flying around. I'm not sure how they going how these cards attach to her hair. I don't know if they're already like just attached to it or what. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. But I like it. It's cool as fuck. Yeah. Get a price breakdown of this. I don't think it's that bad price wise either. And 160, that ain't too bad. And it's a 160 scale, so it's pretty, it'll be pretty big too. It'll be pretty big. I'm not mad at that either. Because the other human code is like a 1 8 scale, so this one's gonna be pretty tall. It's cool with me. And Union Creative made this. I heard of that brand. Uh, heard of that brand before. Or manufacturer, I mean. This will be my first one, so. So far, I mean, like I said, this thing look, this looks perfect. This is exactly how you want to see Yumiko. She's crazy as hell. This is perfect, in my opinion. My only issue, maybe, would be these cards on her hair. I don't know if these are like permanently on her hair or they're like magnets or something. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. Because I feel like these could easily break, but I'm usually pretty good with my figures. So I'm not really too afraid of those breaking, but that might be an issue down the line if these are attachable these aren't are you don't know what i mean but either way cool as hell excited to get it comes out around christmas time so hopefully i get it as you know if not i'll pay it myself but also there's something else that i wanted to get same time christmas time that's urza this is easily the best looking Urza figure that I've seen in quite some time. I have about two of them. So. But this is easily the best looking one. Go to the price breakdown here. I knew this one was going to be pricey when I seen it. And pre orders closed, unfortunately, if you guys wanted to buy it. So, understandably so. This one is really cool but it's 215 comes out in December maybe you might catch it somebody might you know what you call it what, what, what am I trying to say somebody might cancel their order and get lucky and grab one but I don't know yeah 215 shipping for this is probably gonna be pricey because you know me I like doing DHL Never heard of DMM Factory. DMM Factory, I don't know if this is new. I'm not really too familiar with the uh, manufact the brands anyway. I know like a few of them here and there that I like a lot, but I'm not like knowledgeable on all of them. So I think this one is pretty new, but they did a good ass job though. Definitely did a good job. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better look. I think they did a really good job. This is, for some reason, a lot of these fairy tale figures, they can never get the face right. Like, look at this. This is straight out the anime, straight out the manga. Whatever, it's exactly how you want her to look. They did a great job with this. Now, the only issue that you would have with this figure. Not really is a space issue, so this the issue this uh figure looks pretty wide because of these swords. I don't know if this is like attached. I don't know if this is detachable. You could probably take this off. Maybe I'm not sure. I feel like you can you have to like add this onto the base. I don't see this being like just all attached together. But we'll just have to wait and see. Because me personally, this is going to take up way too much space in a detail shelf. It would have to be like displayed by herself, maybe. I bet that would probably be my only issue with it. At least for me. Probably have to play her 
outside the shelf somewhere on like a, a table or something, one of my dressers or something. But I'm getting it regardless. I know I'm a Urza fan, so gotta get it. Got to get it. Too far out. That's December, so after December, we have our first figure of 2025 re-release of, uh, damn, I forgot her damn name. I'm a Persona fan, I forgot her damn name. Let me just go back to it. I know it starts with a K. Asumi, there we go. I would have... Yeah, I was going really going to forget to say her name. But yeah, Kasumi. And Kotobukiya. This is a re-release. About February 2025. So that's good. I think January is my birthday month. I have some free space to get this, so. A birthday present. I am looking to get another shelf. So I might actually get another shelf for my birthday. That's actually the main goal right now. Um, but yeah, re-release. I've been looking at this figure on aftermarket. I was not willing to pay the aftermarket price for it because I was like, eh, I love Persona, but just not about to pay aftermarket prices for a figure that I know is cheaper than what it is. So. And shout out to y'all for re-releasing these figures because boy, I get the hustle with with selling figures and reselling them and stuff like that, but man, sometimes you just be like, damn, I, do I really want to pay double the amount of money for a figure that I know costs half the price of that? So, double-edged sword. I resell figures to myself, but, you know, it's the game. Some figures are rare, some figures are going to be re-releasing. As popular of a series as Persona, they're going to re-release their figures. For sure but I definitely like this figure I'm not planning on getting all the cast of Persona 5 because it's like way too many didn't want spot but I will get the characters that I do like so I already have Joker obviously got on get Kasumi right here um damn I really forgot what was her damn code name has a code name. Everybody got a code name. What was hers? Panther was uh, on. Look up real quick. Oh, Violet. There we go. He wasn't really a part of the team for too long. Kind of like was on the tail end of the game. Kind of hard to really remember. But anyway, 120 is not too bad. I'll take it. Like the roses on here. Definitely get add some fake roses to her base as well, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. It also says something to base too. Probably one of her little catchphrases. Beauty is what the hell did I say? Repertoire. Anyway, getting it, I like it. One eighth scale, February, and yeah, it's Kotobuki, so you already know Kodo, Kotobuki knocks it out the park every time. We ain't gotta really dig too deep into how I feel about them. So, really cool. Uh, what else? And March, I don't know. Fire Force is coming back. April, I'm, I was missing one figure from the collection because they have I got Arthur I got Shinra of course I got Tamaki and this was the only one I was missing so glad they re-released this and now that I see that this is being re-released that means Shinra Tamaki and Arthur are probably gonna be re-released as well as soon as like the show comes out but I definitely wanted to get Benny Maru Benny Maru Waka whatever you want to call him He's a dog. Can't wait for the next season, the final season. I know he about to get in his bag, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy. 
this is going to be how much definitely gonna be cheaper than aftermarket for sure 109 see 109 bro. and i know i probably paid maybe like 150 for all my other fire force but i'm probably gonna be paying around the same with shipping too so either way go i'll take 109 a day of the week yeah this is gonna be coming out in march march and also y'all know glow in the dark eyes glow in the dark i guess the fire goes on dark so yeah i got all three of these here they kind of hold arthur but it's all good does he come with a bonus head i know they usually like to come with bonus faces stuff like that i think that's only a kodo exclusive you gotta buy from them bonus but sometimes the bonus heads don't even look all that good on certain ones the only bonus piece that i wanted was from Tommy Key and Arthur. Gemmers I didn't like. I think I looked up Benny Morrow's. I didn't really like his. So. No big deal. Yeah, Fire Force coming out April. Can't wait. I was reading the manga. But now I'm just stopping. Wait till it comes out now. See how far I got in. See how far the anime gets into the manga where I was reading it. So, yeah, it goes. And also in March, got Marn. From my dress up darling, and I have no idea when that season is coming back. It's been a long time. It was like I think this show came out in 2021. I think 2021, 2021, 2022. But it's been a while since you know we got any news on when the show's coming. And there's been like a shit ton of Martin figures coming out. I would kind of like a Gojo figure as well. Cause I mean, like I get that she's like the main focus of the show, but Gojo's obviously and character as well without him it would be no her as far as like that's the way stuff goes but yeah alter made this one y'all know alter is goated free orders are closed fortunately i feel like everybody named mama getting a figure did a good job though not a standing figure, so you necessarily don't need this base. But I like that too. But it'll leave you some room to play her. Interchangeable heads. Have the regular head. Then you have, like, you know, Lucky Bis cosplay. Red wig she got on with the horns or whatnot. But yeah, alters they spot on every time. And this is go was going for 170. 160 scale. So it's gonna be pretty big. A pretty big figure, I would say. I don't know, Millie. But it the inches. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. That's only like six inches. That's including the base, so it might be even smaller without the base. That's probably like five. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a one six scale. So even though it's one six, it's still not that big. Like I said, she's obviously kneeling down. So, but this looks really good though, y'all. Everything's on point from the eyes to the makeup, the nails, costume. Detail in the hair. It's gonna be a pretty pricey month for me in March, but I'm, I'll be okay. I've I've had worse months, and who knows? There might be delays. It's always delays somewhere down the line. That's for March. Ah, oh, guys, this one just really well. It's about to release. They announced it, but it's about to release. I've been loving Don to Don so far, bro. I've been loving Don to Don. Where is it at? We got to get to this. We got to talk about this. Hold on. Let me go. I think it was on the front page here. Oh, we're going to talk about this one too. And these, this one as well. But anyway. This one comes out April. 
uh yeah april 2025 and it's not going on sale until the 5th of november this is the 2nd of november in the recording of this video so as soon as this is available for pre-order instant instant pre-order and funny story about this so let me show you guys one of the figures that I saw first. They announced these two right here. So I seen this one. I was like, oh, this ain't bad. You know, this is cool. This is, you know, Don to Don. This is Ken and his transformed you know, Turbo Granny. You no. Know, I was like, all right, cool. It ain't too bad price. About forty dollars comes out in August. I was like, damn, that's a little, a little long way from home, no, but a little long time to get it. But I was like, all right, let me. I think I'll go ahead and grab this one. Go ahead and pre-order it real quick, you know. Did that, and then right after I did it, they went and just said, you know what, bro? Nah, bro, we got something better for you. And they dropped this. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, why y'all do me like that? I really don't want to cancel this either because I'm like, I kind of don't want to keep canceling figures from Amiami. I know they're pretty lenient with that, but I'm just like, damn, <laughs> y'all got me. <laughs> I was too thirsty. I saw this, I was like, oh yeah. I don't even want the other one. Though. So I, I was probably just messing around and just sell that one. This one, I'm getting it for sure. This looks good. Look. I like how the base is like elevated up or he's like looking up instead of looking down or something like that like get better lighting angles with it this is cool. I mean I wouldn't mind getting that other one too because I guess you could have one with the teeth and one without the teeth I guess yeah Ken looks raw as hell like the little effects this is just a good ass picture by the way I just like the whole effects running off the clouds, just flowing in the wind. Who made this, by the way? Bandai. Oh, yeah, Bandai went crazy with this one. And I have a Bandai Spirits figure. I think I'm my uh, Yuji figure. I think that's a uh, Bandai figure. I think that's like the in between. Between, like, was to get like a prize figure, Bandai. This that's like this is like the step above. Fig art zero, yeah. Fig art zero series, yeah. Fig art zero is pretty good, and they all they pretty good price too. The amount of detail you get in their figures, so this is this is great. Definitely getting this one for. Sure. I don't even know if I bookmarked. I'm bookmarking it now. Yeah, only for sixty dollars too. That ain't bad. That's a steal, if you ask me. This is gonna be a steal. And also, it's another figure that's coming out in April. Same time. Luffy. I only have one Luffy figure, and it's a little action figure that I got. Mom, I know of going on a trip to China. He saw some little figures like that. She was like, "Hey, do you want a uh, want a, a figure?" I was like, "Yeah, let me get a, a Luffy figure or something." Nothing too crazy. I didn't want to break the bank from you know, but you know W mom. But now I get to get a, another Luffy figure. One that actually this looks cool. Uh, and it's Egghead. Actually in action, you know what I'm saying? Doing the gum gum, Gatling. Yeah, this look. Look. look price real quick he just dropped this oh so yeah this one also comes out in the fifth as well so both ken and luffy both of these drop gum gum hawk gatling okay i was trying to remember the name of the move i knew it was gatling but okay definitely using the hawk for sure yeah this one's only 50 comes out in the comes out in april Stale doesn't drop until the 5th, same as uh, the Don to Don joint. But yeah, definitely gonna be pairing these two together in my pre-order. 
and it's not bad like this is only so just these two together is well over 100 and some change shipping probably on the 150 side maybe but that ain't nothing like i said i paid way more but way more than that but this is a light this is light you know but yeah really cool though definitely needed to get an actual like legit scaled luffy figure and i didn't want to break the bank when i'm either but y'all know how it is with figures though they like to show the the, the girl the girls love when it comes to their scales when it comes to the fellas you're not really gonna get too many options you might get a couple here and there but you gotta go do some digging but this is cool though for this price i'll take it i'll take a luffy figure for this price any day of the week any day of the week this looks cool as fuck though definitely getting definitely getting it like i said that comes out in april so we're heading into may now where are we at ah mio from xenoblade xenoblade chronicles 3 also y'all uh this is the sidebar since we're talking about xenoblade xenoblade chronicles x coming out i think april of next year somewhere somewhere i think april or march i can't remember but it is out it was coming out i haven't played that xenoblade yet so now i get a chance to play it because it was locked on the wii u i don't i don't have a wii u never played the wii u but it's coming to the switch so that's cool but anyway this is from xenoblade chronicles 3 it's mio and where's she at so check the price it's pretty cheap though. I don't think she was. And the pre-orders closed. I'm not surprised because people love Xenoblade. Like I love Xenoblade. It's the one seven scale from Good Smile. Comes out in May. Pre-orders are closed, unfortunately. Um, about 103 dollars USD. 15. Y'all see the price? 15 K yen. About 16 K yen. And. I like Mio as a character. I thought she was a pretty good character. My only thing, of course, I say this every single time I see a Xenoblade uh, character, like figure or whatever, they only give us the group. Where's Shulk? Where's Rex? Where's Noah? At least get the main character. Damn, y'all. I like Mio too. I like Nia. I like Pyra and Mithra. I like, uh, fuck. What's her name? Damn, I have her too. I'm bad with names, y'all. Right, forgive me, I'm really bad with names. I remember, how I remember her last name, Antiqua. Melia, there we go. Melia, I'm about to say Melia's. It was Antiqua, something new. Start with an M. Melia. Okay, so yeah. Back to what I was saying. I have Melia, Pyra, Mithra. Now I'm gonna get Mio's. I mean, I do like his figure though. All, all jokes aside, he looks pretty cool though. I actually like that she got a cool looking base. And it's nothing crazy. It's like, you know, she just posing with her little weapons, little ring that she likes to throw. That's cool. Always good to have a new, another Xenoblade figure to add to the collection. This I have something else that comes out in May as well. That is Mau Mau from Apothecary Diaries, and that season's coming out in January, so I'm actually excited about that because I like this show. I ain't know what to expect from it, but I like it. It's actually just well written. It's just a, just a good, well written show. Now let's go to actual price. This one wasn't too bad price wise. It's only 90 bucks. I like the base, and I like, you know, she got her little. Uh, 
medicines and all that stuff hanging out. She got holding some flowers. Dating's really good. This is gonna be like a fairly small figure, I, I would assume. One seven scale, one eighty. I don't know, like I said, I don't know millimeters, but I don't think it's gonna be pretty big. I can be pretty small, but I like it though. Cute. Definitely enjoy the show though, for sure. And I kind of like how they added like the little leaf dropping, it's like the little little small details that they add to it, you know. Ah, got another one. This is June. This is the only one that came out in June. Man, y'all, when I tell y'all, I seen this on the aftermarket, and I was pissed. I was like, I'm not paying over two hundred dollars for this, and I like Killer Kill. Oh, scratch that. I love Killer Kill, just like I love Guru Logan. I just wasn't paying that much money for Ryoku. But he's officially re-released and then will be arriving in June of next year. And that's actually a great time for me. I figure I get in. Might be the end of June. Might be middle end of June. So like right because in May, end of May, I'll be leaving for DreamCon and Houston. Obviously, I'm going to need some bread for that, but yeah, May is not going to be too crazy for me. And then I got a little small window to get this in June, so that's good. But yeah, this super excited about this one because I always wanted a Ryoku. This one in particular. So I wanted her in her battle outfit. But I had like a little small little pop up of her, just like her little outfit. I. Had a loud fit or whatever. It was cool. It's like, you know, been crazy. This one's way better. Extremely better. It did they. Only issue with it for me, obviously, for long as hell. It'll probably take up space in the shelf, depending on how you place her. I'll, I'll figure out a way. Like I said, hopefully I have another shelf by the fucking. Have more room ever but this looks really good though can't wait for it i'm pretty sure everybody named mama getting this too oh that's i didn't wait a minute. oh i didn't i'm just not noticing that okay so you can switch the sword make it go longer or you can leave it like this but she come like with different hands Oh, that's even cooler. Oh, this makes this figure even cooler for me. Okay, I like that. Okay, so it might not be as bad as I thought. Just not noticing that. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, this is this is an automatic pre-order for me. No doubt about it. This just looks cool as hell. So that comes out in June. By 109, which is way better than 200 some dollars for. Way better. I'll take that, like I said, any day of the week. Yeah, super excited about this. Great show if you guys haven't watched it. I'm pretty sure if you, you watched it already. Classic. Animation fire. Trigger made it, obviously. Super excited about that. Got another Mau Mau figure right here. This is the best looking Mau Mau figure that they're gonna have. This is like perfect. This is like one of those, um, I don't know what you wanna. This is almost like a, uh, I don't know, it's just super artistic looking. I don't know, it just looks. Look at this, man. This pic, they took, they tiled this picture. Hopefully this is like the inside of the box. I want to use this as a, like a what you call it, a backdrop for when I take my pictures. This the best amount figure that they have right now. 
I think it's just because the dress just pops. Like colors like this is kind of just like real eye catching. And look, look, look at the details. And this is insane. Like everything from the shading to the napkin on here is on point. The wrinkles in the in the uh robe. Look at this. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. <laughs> like I can't even think of any other word to describe. This is beautiful, yo. Yeah, this is probably my top five figure. Number either one or two. I did a number one. I'm gonna say this number one in my on my list that I'm most excited for. This one looks really good, y'all. 130. Not bad. Got the wonderful works. You guys did an amazing job. Garden party. Okay. Yeah, I remember that episode. Yeah. I can't wait for this show to come back out too. Okay, that is July. I believe this is July as well. So we got another Don Don figure that comes out in July. Where's she at? Got Momo now. Got Mau Mau and Momo. Both coming out in July. Guys got similar names. And I have a feeling that they're going to make an even better version of Momo now. And I'm going to hold myself. I already pre-ordered this. I know they're going to make an even better version of Momo. Now that I see that they got a better version of Ken out there. But this is solid. I'm not mad at this. Nothing too crazy. It's simple. I like it. Not bad. Real simple. Could it be better? Sure. But again, Penny Tall through you. I don't want to say they make great figures, but I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. I mean, like I said, it's only 40 bucks, so I mean, you're not going to get like top tier quality figure. Forty dollars. I mean, forty bucks is still solid to me. Not bad at all. But I just know they're gonna make a better version of her. I know they are. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like two months from now. We're gonna see. A, we're gonna get an announcement for another one where she's like doing something. Look, like when the al the alien episode, where she was using her little psychic tricks and shit. Gonna have something like that. I'm sure. But. Like I said, for 40 bucks, it ain't bad. I'll take it. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting Mau Mau with this one, so. Won't be too costly of a month for me. Like I said, it's both of them together. I might still, like I said, I might still end up getting this one, but I might end up selling it too. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. It comes out in August. Not too pressed on it. It's cheap. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to do something better. Ah, oh, this one comes out in August too. But yeah, this is from Evangelion. I have to finish watching that actually. I don't even, I don't know who this character is. I just saw her and I thought she looked. And she reminds me of a Xenoblade character. Let me go to her real quick. Uh, thought I had her in the saved. Evangelion. Yeah. Inua? Yeah, I can't pronounce all that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. So wait, that ain't Ray. Is it Ray? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't watched the show. That doesn't look like Ray at all. But anyway, I saw it. I thought it looked cool as hell. Reminds me of a Xenoblade character because of the way the getup looks. But obviously, like I said, it's Evangelion. 
I guess I do look like her, I guess. I think they could have made it a little better with the shading of her hair, maybe make it a little more blue. Yeah. Solid. Like it though. Is it a little on the pricey side? Maybe so. <laughs> how big is it anyway? I didn't even check to see how. 250. That actually might be pretty pretty tall. About, about 9, 10 inches, so it's fairly tall. So. Guess that makes sense. I like it though, either way. I might pair it up with my Xenoblade figure. Like I said, looks. They look like they would be in the same universe. Sometimes I like to pair my figures up with other series of shows, just kind of mix it up. Like they would fit together. Comes out in August. 150 catch it on sale maybe we'll see but i already pre-orders getting it for the price that it is but i like it I believe this is uh well i guess it's an army on me exclusive oh pretty cool got the army army and this is october last one for the video Where is she at? I thought I had her on my saved. Matter of fact, we'll just do this. But my pre orders. I, I forgot. I don't know her. I know nothing about this series. Okay. Alright, Goddess of Victory. Nikki and this. Sparkling Summer. 17 scale. Like I said, I don't know nothing about this. I don't know if it's a game, show, or what. But nice little summer vibe. And other than the obvious, just a good looking scale. I like the jacket, the pop, little shades. I like that it comes with a base and sitting in the chair. Good ass picture. So maybe if I, cause I already got like another figure, not from this, but she's like a uh, what you call it? Um, I'm thinking about. She's a, uh, well, she's like in her, like, a bathing suit. This is like something, like a summer. I want to, like, switch up my shelves or whatever. Have this for next summer, I guess. You know, it comes out in the fall, but. I like it. I don't really know about this base too much. I mean, it looks cool, I guess. I mean, it's like sitting in water, I guess. Sometimes those clear water bases look a little weird to me. But it's okay. I like it. I like the tint on the shades as well. Sometimes they do get a little over exaggerated with boobs. They could have made them maybe like a, a cup smaller. But I mean, like I said, it's anime. That's how they get down. It could be worse. But I think this looks solid. Comes out in October, 130. And it says Shift Up Corporation. I think this is the same people. That made um, a stellar blade. Actually, it is. So, it makes a whole lot of sense now. Stellar blade and in, in this type type of figure makes a whole lot of sense. I'm surprised they don't have a stellar blade figure yet. Honestly, I kind of would have thought they would have been made. That I've seen resins of her already, but like regular figures, I haven't seen. I should look up. I doubt that. Nope, nothing yet. Nothing yet. 
yep that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it make sure you hit the, hit the like button subscribe for someone new click the notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video. peace